Happy Sabbath! Our Bible story today is about a heart check. I am sure that all of you have seen this before. It's called a stethoscope. Now, who uses a stethoscope? Well, a doctor uses a stethoscope. Now, what does a doctor do with a stethoscope? A doctor uses a stethoscope to listen and see what's going on inside our bodies. A person may look healthy on the outside and yet have something wrong on the inside. Many doctors want to see their patients once a year for a checkup. Do you ever go to the doctor for a checkup? If so, you know the routine. They check to see how tall you are and how much you weigh. They look in your eyes, ears, nose, and throat. Then the doctor takes out the stethoscope, which feels as if it's been put in a refrigerator. <laughs> and listens to see if your heartbeat is steady and strong. Any unusual sound may tell the doctor that there is something wrong with your heart. If the doctor finds something wrong, you may need to take some medicine to make it well. Sometimes, a doctor finds something wrong and has to operate it to fix it. There have even been some cases when a person needs a whole new heart. Isn't it wonderful that God has given us doctors who can fix our heart when something goes wrong? Our Bible story today is about a man named David. You remember David, don't you? <laughs> David was a shepherd boy who God made to become king. He also slew the giant Goliath with a slingshot. David loved God with all his heart, but he didn't always do what God wanted him to do. Sometimes, David had heart trouble. Oh, not the kind of heart trouble you could hear with a stethoscope. But David knew he had heart trouble. He knew that he had sinned and done wicked and evil things in God's sight. So, what did David do about his heart trouble? He went to the one who he knew who could fix it. Yeah. He went to God. David prayed to God and said, Oh God, I have sinned and done evil things in your sight. Create in me a clean heart and give me a right spirit. Sometimes you and I have heart problems too. We might have some things in our heart that shouldn't be there. Things like bitterness, anger, jealousy, Selfishness, yeah. pride, yeah. and greed. Mm. When we come to church, everything may look great on the outside, yeah. but God may look inside and see that our heart isn't.
it right. When we know we have a heart problem, we need to do what David did. We need to pray to God and say, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do you have some things in your heart that shouldn't be there? I do. Let's ask God to fix it. Let's all bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we know that you can see what is in our heart. And we know that there are some things there that shouldn't be there. Create a clean heart in us, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.